Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I had a little bit more on the, the Martian stories. Uh, I can't use the word chronicles because it's been used before by a, a person I'm a big fan of. So it seems like the Martian chronicles, but it's very different. Uh, this is, these are the, the stories about the Martians, the Martians in on Earth. So the topic has come up. Uh, if you're able to communicate with the Martians in your colon, the Martian bacteria in your colon, then then what would be a way to create this this feeling of one for all and all for one, which could start first with our own various uh, forms, our physical form and our subtle subtle bodies that we have, so that we could become one. Uh, in the physical and in the astral plane, the, our bodies, our physical body and our astral body, contain uh, like a colonies of individuals that look after and maintain our bodies or just simply adventitiously inhabit our bodies or in some cases are parasites in our bodies. Well, as the ascension process occurs, of course, it would be obvious um, what we need to do to to maintain the optimum body for for all of those life forms that are helping us or are not hindering us but but it will become increasingly obvious to us what we have to do to avoid having um it's like a big tree you know you don't want the kind of um you don't want the kind of things that would like destroy the trunk or, or kill the tree in the tree, but it's fine to have birds and, and you know, insects that are helpful or that don't hinder and like that. So, so we want to cultivate the flora and fauna in our physical body and in our astral body that, that, are, that help us or that don't hinder us. So, so one of the first things has to do with diet. We want the right kind of diet to encourage the right kind of flora and fauna. That's on the physical plane. And in the, on the astral plane, we need the right emotion, right? And as it turns out, the astral plane trumps the physical plane. So if we have the right emotion, the emotion of joy or appreciation or wonder or happiness or love, gratitude, those positive emotions will foster the type of physical reactions that we have that will lead us to a greater physical um, health and happiness. And interestingly enough, those positive emotions will create the bioenvironment uh, on the astral plane and on the physical plane that we need. It'll, it will uh, foster the presence of just the sort of flora and fauna that are helpful or neutral that I've been talking about. So, so that's what we can do. We can have a positive attitude, and so, and that will, and that will aid us in in our efforts in the physical realm. Say, to to get the right kind of exercise, to get sufficient rest, to to have a chance to. Um, to associate with plenty of good people and a chance to get the right kind of work and have plenty of income and the chance to eat the right kind of food. All the things we really need, you know. So, um, so now the issue has come up just today while I was sunbathing. It's getting on towards the winter solstice sun, so the sun is very, uh, it's, it's thin. It's delightful, really, but it's it's very different from the sun of the equinoxes or the sun of the summer solstice. It's a purifying, thin energy, and uh, beautiful, beautiful white, you know, crystal light. It's like pure water, and a great deal of purifying has been going on. People have been coming to wonderful realizations, and. Uh, and about any number of things, and, and just stepping forth into the new, from the old, letting go all that, and just stepping forth into the new. It, it's been amazing.
These last few weeks of December have been absolutely breathtaking. So back to the Martians. <laughs> um, the question came up, you know, people get very upset about the Martians because there they are in the longest organ in our body, you know, and, and we can't exactly make them go away. You know, we've tried with antibiotics. We've been feeding antibiotics to our, um, to our animals, and the antibiotics get into our system, and what happens is the Martians get resistant to the antibiotics because they, they're very good at ad adaptation and change. So, so antibiotics are not the answer. What we need is proactive lifestyle changes that, that take into account the, all of the wonderful qualities of the Martians, too. For instance, we're their space station, right? They want their space station to be healthy and, and uh, operable for as long as possible. Translating into our perspective, that means a long and healthy life. So we have these, these goals in common, that this space station should have a long and healthy life. Now, sometimes, and because until recently, we haven't been talking to them. So they've been going on some misinformation that they get through the unconscious thought cloud of the world because the gut is located in that, in that area of the energy of the human body and astral body. Um, so they're sometimes, in, in your own personal space station, maybe laboring under misconceptions. And these misconceptions can lead to uh, like a warring or pugnacious attitude towards other people, uh, specifically, members of your own family, your friends, or your workplace group, or other uh, members of other organizations that you belong to. And the reason for this is that the Martians are misinformed, okay? They, they, they have some impression because of your unconscious thoughts and your, the, the uh, emotions that you're unaware of, which may be negative, that it's in their best interest to promote these wars amongst all of the different people that you know and war on earth. So the thing to do is to speak to them calmly and happily from the perspective of your mutual concerns with them. For instance, let's take the case of a person who, who, whose subconscious mind in the middle of the night the Martians are talking together um, with, with her and someone else, or him and someone else, about a way to end another person's life, okay? The Martians don't know that this will, if, they're, if this person is, space station is caught at this activity, that then the life will be foreshortened and the space station will be inoperable. They don't know this, they need to know it. Okay, so what if you if you if you find out that this kind of conversation is going on, there's a subconscious thing that is happening that needs to be let go in that person. Say, say through forgiveness or repentance, and through opening the heart to following the heart and feeling love. You know, from that day on, and that will then hopefully stop the wars. But in the meantime, it never hurts to talk to your Martians, and that person, be, be it a she or a he, could say to their Martians, you know, if I or this other person end up, you know, killing or injuring someone else, then we will end up in jail. And the food's not very good in jail. Remember, they're in our colon, right? The food's not very good in jail. So what that will mean is the space station will be inoperable sooner than it otherwise might be. So for an optimum um, operating time for this space station, uh, we should avoid this war. We should avoid this action of killing someone else or injuring someone else. Maybe it might be, you know, doing credit cards, um, fraud, or it might be 
uh, hacking websites, or it might be with the idea of getting money from them. Anything that's like illegal, they need to know the penalty involved because then they will stop promoting it on a subconscious level while we sleep. And in the meantime, we can do our best to open our hearts to joy. So it's very simple right now. The emotions that we feel filter down to our colon where they like saturate and envelop the, the bacteria that are there. So the bacteria, the bacterial colonies uh, in the colons of people who are happy and who feel positive emotions are very different, far more peaceful, far more at one with the general uh, uh, aims of the person who is peaceful and loving than is the case for people who have uh, like a chip on their shoulder or they have a grudge that they're holding or they may feel the need for vengeance or they might feel angry or fearful that then you have Martians that feel the same way and that's double trouble you know so all the more reason to tailor our emotions to the new <laughs> there's much more to the to the process of diplomacy and be aligning interests common in, with the common interests of the Martians within us but we need to take a we need to take the lead in terms of positive lifestyle insofar as we can and then we need to talk in very simple terms to uh, regarding diet, the right kinds of foods that will prolong the operation of the space station to the Martians that are actually within our space station, if you get me. There's a lot more to do in terms of the globe, but this whole thing, this one for all and all for one thing, starts at home with our own biosphere and all of the life forms that we, we consciously or unconsciously um, cherish and protect under the umbrella of our various of our various bodies so very happy solstice energy and light this light of the Sun to each of you and may you be at peace with all your Martians <laughs> peace throughout the world <laughs> <laughs>